Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, I recently got back into this game, so I wanted to play a little bit to, for a video, just to say like, hey, I'm playing this now. Just add it to one of my other games I play on the daily now. So I'm just going to jump into standard rank. I'm still in silver. I'm working my way back up. I don't have a very good deck because it's been like seven packs since I last left. Let me actually show. When was the last time I played? It should show right here. Just to give an idea of how far back in the meta. Let me go to the store. The store should show how many packs it's been since I last played. Okay. Packs. Okay, when I played, um, this had not come out yet. So, War of the Spark was the last one. So, one, two, three, four, and then pretty close, a fifth one is about to come out. So, all right, I'm gonna jump in. This is a sacrifice deck, is I think the best way to put it. I call it if it w if I was a rich deck because. I've had to substitute a lot of the better cards for not as good ones, so the deck isn't the greatest at winning, and I think the game is crashing on me. No, it's fine. Come on, baby. It's loading. I have bad internet, so there it is. So let's see if we can do it. I've had some pretty bad luck with it. Um, I re I've... Here's my main problem, is that this keeps happening, is that I keep... Like, there's more swamps than there are mountains, and yet I still find a way to draw mountains. I'm going to end up playing with this hand just because I have... There we go. I was about to say, I have faith that I'm going to eventually draw a swamp. Um, but just because before this, um, I think the balance of it was... Nine swamps and eight, uh, eight mountains. And now it's a little bit better. All right. He's red, so chances are he's just gonna slap me with whatever. So I don't want to bring out my big deal, my big, my big boys yet. I'm gonna bring out the little ones to start. Mm. So yeah, your main focus is basically sacrificing and beating the crap out of your enemy through sacrifices. I think is the best way for me to kind of describe what this deck is about. I think it's pretty popular. I the reason I know about it is because I fought against it, or I felt a, I fought a version of this deck, I should say. Right, trample. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna play that. And I'm gonna play this. Is this under? Totally is. I'm not gonna do that though. Not yet. Not yet. No attacks. Um, he's hexproof, actually. I can't do it, so. Right? Riot, trample. As long as it is your turn. Okay, only during his turn. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. If he doesn't, um, destroy this girl right here, which he kinda has to. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, it's not too bad. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to claim the firstborn. I should be able to take it. Yes. Yes, I can. Use her effect. Target him. Submit one. Him. And him. Next, here's what happens. Next, I get to target his face. He takes damage. He has to sacrifice a creature. And I draw a card. And now I can still play my cards. So I'm going to play Cauldron Familiar. So he takes one damage. <laughs> I think I can still play... I could use this to get back the Footlit Fiend, but I don't really want to. So I'm just going to do that. Hit him in the face. And turn. Alright, we're doing pretty good, pretty good. We'll see how this guy's going. There is a way to beat this deck, but you have to play a very specific playstyle, I feel. Once you've lost advantage, it's kind of a tough situation to be in. So here's my problem. If I use this ability. Oh man. Should I just bring him back? Alright, screw it. He comes back. Use her effect. Target him. Submit one. Both of these. Target a fiend. Uh... See, the problem is, is that first all this happens, and then that all happens, and then he has to choose someone to sacrifice. Yeah. 
Ooh. This is a pretty good card. Three. I don't want to use that yet. So what happens if... Um, no. No attacks. Every time he attacks, he gets a plus one, plus one counter, and then he deals damage equal to how many counters he had when he died. Um... Ooh, Mecha Godzilla, what? I wanted this card, but I played too late to get it. At the beginning of the Oh man, doesn't matter. He's an artifact creature. It's awesome. God damn it me for playing a little bit too late. So, pass. Let me see. Beginning of your combat turn, choose a kind of counter. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna sacrifice him. Deal three damage to him and kill him. Goodbye. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna play my kitty for free. Because I sacrifice a food. I get to heal one, he takes one damage. Ooh, that was just bad luck on your part. Because I get him now. Thank you. Next turn. All attack. One, two, three. Put bye to your creature. Uh, this deck is real. Once it's rolling, it's real fun. <laughs> it's so dumb in the way it functions. I think next turn, if he doesn't kill me this turn, he loses. That's just the, the truth of the matter here. Alright, he loses. Kitty. One damage. Oh wait, cancel. I'm gonna use this. Get back. Yep, both of these. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I give them. Because next I'm gonna do this. Target you. Submit one. One. Two. And that should be enough to completely kill him. It's honestly too much to kill him. Yeah. I draw a card. And that is it. That is all she wrote on that one. Oh boy. I'm almost at gold. I don't think I'll make it in time though. Just because again, um, let me play another one. Um, that was actually me getting very lucky. I basically drew everything I needed. If I didn't draw a swamp though, I would have been basically screwed over. So I'm glad I made the changes to the deck before. Um, playing. Let's go again. I love Magic the Gathering Arena. The problem is is that Magic makes me very angry. Um, because I still think the most frustrating- I love Magic to death. I've been playing it on and off for years. Never at a high capacity though. But the thing that always pissed me off is always getting- I think it was mana screwed? I forget which one. There's one to say when you draw too much mana, and then there's another one to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's one if you draw too much mana, and there's one if you don't get enough mana. I'm going to keep this hand. This is actually pretty decent. I don't know what kind of deck this guy's running though. Interesting. So yeah, I can just keep summoning my kitty. Oh, does he have a companion? He does. Oh, he's gonna just try and beat me now. Not a bad tactic. Not a bad tactic. i throw out my kitty. Which of them? Next. I'm done. So, this is gonna be a pure war of attrition, it looks like. One of us is gonna die. Okay, sure. He's gonna have a lot of creatures. I'm not gonna be able to stop him. I don't have much time. Okay, so if I remember correctly... Okay, how the night you get death touch? Okay. Is it my turn? Do you want to use something, sir? Pass. Block. Then once he's blocked, goodbye kitty. And I get my token. Give token, okay. 
He can't attack me. But then, boom, kitty time. Sacrifice food. Meow. Kitty returns. He takes one damage, I gain one life. Then I'm gonna do that again. Sacrifice. Thank you. I guess what? this whole cycle begins again, dude. This is your life now. The problem is, is that he's gonna be able to deal a lot, a lot more damage than I can probably deal than I can uh, deal to him, is what I meant to say. Sacrifice food, but I can try and take as little damage as possible until then. Take two. That works for me. Uh, Footlight Fiend. I mean, he can activate something, but he's choosing not to. I'll go with Labyrinth Raptor. That'll make him stop him from attacking with this guy. I've Whenever you cast a night spell, that's going to be a real issue for sure. Oh, I could have taken out his knight. Damn it. Screwed up. It's fine. No attacks. I'd rather play defensively, but there was a way for me to totally take out his knight. I should have just played both the footlight fiends, sacrificed both of them, and destroyed him. I'm going to do that next turn. If I can. If he attacks with him, then I'm blocking with him and we'll go from there. Ooh. Yeah. Really? They're not knights? Oh, they're just human characters. Who cares then? Hmm. Interesting. He definitely still has something in his hand that he can play. What does this guy do? Hmm. Interesting. Pass. Is he only going to attack with him? He doesn't want to attack with him. Hmm. Okay. See if he's going to do anything. Sacrifice my kitty. Alright, let's do it again. Second verse, same as the first. Well, technically we're on our, th what is it, our third third verse? Fifth verse at this point? At this point, he must be just fed up with this damn cat. It's like, how many times are you just gonna do this? As much times as I need, my friend. I also like how I said, like, oh, I'm gonna save it for next turn, completely forgetting that he's gonna attack with him. Okay. Perfect. And goodbye. He can save him. I'm waiting to see what that instant he has, because he totally has one. He's just choosing not to play it at the moment. Right? Oh, what the hell does that do? Probably defended him in some way. You're about to take two... No, when he dies, he's going to take two to damage or something. Hmm. I mean, he's just going to defend him, so I don't really want to do that. No, no attacks. There's no real reason for me to attack. He has to figure out how to get through my wall of bullshit. I don't need to do anything to him. Yep. Again, you can have all these dudes. I don't really care. Now I kind of care. Jesus. Oh, when this guy dies. Thank God. I thought it was when any knight died. I was about to say, oh my god. I just lose, right? Let's see what he does. Very interested to see what he does. Really? 
Okay. Did he forget this? Did he forget that I could just do this? Did he forget that I could just completely stop whatever he plans to do to me? Meow. And this time you don't even get to deal damage because you need to attack with two dudes. So all you did was take two damage and deal nothing for no reason. Ah, oh, this is kind of troubling. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I have game, and the answer is no, I do not. Unfortunately, I needed a monster. This guy totally still has a chance to win, by the way. I have not won anything. The problem is, is that he's being too scared right now. Well, the thing is, is that actually he can't go all out, because if he goes all out, then I win. Because I can just attack with everyone. Pass. Let's see what he does. No. I'm not going to forget to do this. The good thing about it is that this combo is super cheap, and this isn't even like the worst part of this deck. There's a deck that makes this cat like 7-7 seven, seven, and makes him borderline unkillable. Alright, let's see if I draw the card I need. My turn. Nope, not what I needed. No attacks. Another good thing to note is that I can use the food to gain um, life if needed. So if I ever run out of... Ooh. Again, he's also not out of this game. He could totally draw a card. Surprised he hasn't yet. It's all wall. Don't really care. He's got a lot of dudes, though. He's got a lot of boys on the field right now. Let's see what he does. I don't think he has game yet, though. Pretty close. Two, five. Okay. Yeah, nothing to do here. He has first strike, so that's why I'm not targeting him. Should I use your defender? I feel like I need to keep you around just in case. Okay. That's my block, and then... I need to draw a very specific card to help me win, otherwise it's going to be very tough going for me to win this. I can survive, but that's really the best I can do for right now. He's started to realize that he has enough creatures to just completely screw me up here. Um, okay. Pass. Pass. Okay. Yep, that's it. That really helps me win, for sure. Let me see. Fortunately, this guy does not have... <gasps> Wait a minute. I think I win. Can I tap this now? How many times can I activate this ability? Let's find out. Yep. No, only once. Damn it, did he need more? Four or greater. No, that should have created more. Oh, it needs toughness. That's different. Damn it. Alright. I may have lost. Just because of that one very dumb move. But let's find out. He needs to be able to deal 20, which I don't think he can do. He might be able to deal 20 now. Good. That's for sure. Resolve all. Pass. 
This is gonna come down to the wire. I can only block one of these attacks. Resolve. Okay, pass. I need to have barely enough health to live, basically. Oh, I was so dumb to give away that card. Should never have done it. This is gonna come down literally to the wire. Mmm, that's it. The game is done. Ladies and gentlemen. The cat wins. Cat wins, ladies and gentlemen. The cat wins. And goodbye. It's over. He almost, he almost did it. He almost totally beat me. Oh, that was a scary last turn. And this is a 20 minute, 21 minute video now <laughs> because of that extreme cat action. All right, everyone. That's that's it. I love Magic the Gathering. I like this kitty deck, and that's it. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.